Hello, my name is Elizabeth Walkden and I'm here to talk to you about my experience of uh, completing the internship. Um, firstly, I'd like to say a huge thank you to um, my team, the speech and language therapy team and the ICU teams um, at Withinshaw Hospital for supporting me to um, complete this internship and giving me the time and space to do so. I'd also like to um, thank the ARC GM team um, for all of their support through this and constantly replying to emails and everything else that they do. Um, and especially Jill Norman, who is my supervisor and has been incredibly supportive through um, the whole process. So um, firstly, I'd like to talk to you a bit about my background. I am a speech and language therapist and I've worked in various areas um, of clinical practice, such as neuro rehab, stroke acute and critical care. And I've worked across different places in the country, Gloucestershire, London, and uh, I've settled in Manchester, where I'm from. So uh, in my job at Withinshaw Hospital, I specialise in ICU um, rehab, uh, and in particular, I have a special interest in cardiothoracic ICU rehab and in particular transplant, so heart and lung um, transplants. Therefore, my research question is around the impact of cardiothoracic surgery on swallow function in adults post-operatively. Um, and that's what all of my project work was around for this internship. So before starting the internship, I had um, some research experience. I'd um, completed a publication, I had presented some posters and I'd been involved in national trials at a recruitment level. So in terms of what I hope to gain from the internship, I wanted support with this particular um, project around heart and lung transplants and getting some more information to um, complete the research. So I wanted to gain some more research skills and some appraisal skills for what research was out there. I also like the idea of having the opportunity to complete some master's level um, study and other than that, I didn't really know what the internship um, may give me in terms of skills. So after completing it, I guess there's two main outcomes that I um, can, uh, that I've acknowledged. So uh, there were some education outcomes. I completed my master's module in critical appraisal of research. And I also completed uh, 11 Cochrane modules about designing systematic reviews and that really helped to underpin my understanding of good quality research. Um, and then I completed some projects. So I um, completed a systematic review protocol, so designing a systematic review. And then because I didn't have time to do the full systematic review, I did a rapid evidence review of what was out there to do with around my question. I created some clinical posters um, and I've done presentations to both my speech and language therapy colleagues and also presentations about this internship. So in terms of what I got out of it, I think um, one of the main things was the exposure to the academic world and networks and I, I wasn't fully expecting that. Um, I met lots of people with loads of different skills in research um, so that was really interesting. I also gained some taught research skills, but also practical skills. Um, I completed this internship during the pandemic <laughs> and working on ICU. So it definitely taught me about leadership and kind of organisational skills. Uh, it gave me some really nice appraisal skills for better understanding kind of research. And it gave me the space and confidence for completing self-directed study. Um, and some tangible kind of achievements that are um, relevant to my job and to my career. As I've talked about, I think there were loads of benefits to me, um, but there were also benefits to my team. So I was able to highlight research opportunities and give them informal support. It also had clinical relevance to my patients and um, it, it provided a link with uh, the ArcGM and university um, for my teams. 
So in terms of my future plans, I am successful. I have been successful in um, securing a pre-doctoral fellowship. So I'll be doing that. I'm going to be doing more research, more study into, um, while I'm doing my research masters at Manchester University and I'll be able to support others in um, their research. Thanks.